The Philadelphia Eagles earned a stunning NFC Wild Card playoff win over the Chicago Bears after Cody Parkey's potential game-winning kick bounced off both the upright and crossbar. It was an awful way for the Bears to lose the game. And, unfortunately for Parkey, this miss likely will be remembered for a long time. Here are the most brutal missed field goals in NFL playoff history, 10. Cody Parkey, 2018 NFC Wild Card Playoff with 10 seconds remaining, Parkey's 43-yard attempt at a potential game-winning field goal struck the upright and then bounced off the crossbar before falling into the end zone. The miss, which appeared to be tipped by an Eagles player, sealed a 16-15 win for the Eagles at Soldier Field and ended the Bears' worst-to-first turnaround season. Cody Parkey's would-be game-winning FG hits the crossbar twice sending the Eagles to the divisional round. Nate Ketting, 2004 AFC Wild Card Playoff with the score tied 20-20 in overtime, the San Diego Chargers drove to the New York Jets' 22-yard line to set Ketting up for a 40-yard field goal, but his kick went wide right. The Jets won the game on the ensuing drive on Doug Bryan's 28-yard field goal. 8. Blair Walsh, 2015 Wild Card Playoff Playing in below zero temperatures at TCF Bank Stadium, the Minnesota Vikings were trailing the Seattle Seahawks 10-9 when they lined up for a potentially game-winning kick with 26 seconds remaining. However, Walsh's 27-yard attempt went wide left. Walsh had accounted for all of the Vikings' points in the game, even making kicks from 43 and 47 yards out earlier in the contest. Point seven. Doug Bryan, 2004 AFC Divisional Playoff A week after benefiting from Ketting's untimely miss, the Jets fell victim to an unfortunate field goal miss of their own against the Pittsburgh Steelers. With the score tied 17-17 and 4 seconds remaining in regulation, Brian missed from 43 yards out. The game went to overtime, which was when the Steelers pulled out a 20-17 win when their kicker, Jeff Reed, connected on a 33-yarder.6. Lynn Elliott, 1995 AFC Divisional Playoff Chiefs were the AFC's top playoff seed in 1995 but were upset by the plucky Colts, 10-7, at Arrowhead Stadium. Elliott missed three field goals in the loss, including one from 42 yards out with 42 seconds left in the game, 5. Jan Stenerud, 1971 AFC Divisional Playoff in the longest game in NFL history, the Dolphins beat the Chiefs, 27-24, in double overtime at Kansas City's Municipal Stadium. Stenerud had a chance to deliver a win for the Chiefs, but his 32-yard attempt in the final minute sailed wide right. He also had a field goal attempt in overtime get blocked. This was the last hurrah for the Hank Stram-led Chiefs, as Kansas City went another 14 seasons before returning to the playoffs. Point four. Mike Vonderjack, 2005 AFC Divisional Playoff and Indianapolis Colts season that started 13-0 ended in disappointment to the Pittsburgh Steelers, who were the AFC's number 6 playoff seed. Down 21-18 to the Steelers, Vonderjack, famous for being called the idiot kicker by Peyton Manning a couple years prior, lined up for a 46-yard field goal with 21 seconds remaining. He missed horribly and earned a 15-yard unsportsmanlike penalty to boot point three. Billy Cundiff, 2011 AFC Championship game down 23-20 to the Patriots in Foxborough, Cundiff missed a potentially game-tying field goal with 15 seconds remaining, sending New England to Super Bowl 46. The 32-yard attempt came two plays after the Ravens' Lee Evans dropped a possible go-ahead touchdown pass when Patriots defensive back Sterling Moore knocked the ball from the receiver's hands. The next season, the Ravens gained some vengeance by beating the Patriots in an AFC title game rematch before winning Super Bowl 47. Billy Cundiff reacts after missing a kick late in the Ravens' loss to the Patriots in the 2011 AFC Championship photo. Robert Deutsch, USAT 2. 
Gary Anderson, 1998 NFC Championship game The Vikings had the underdog Falcons on the ropes late in the NFC title game at the Metrodome. Up 27-20 with just over two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, Anderson lined up for a 38-yard field goal attempt. Anderson, who was a perfect 35-for-35 35 on field goal attempts during the regular season, missed. Allowed the Falcons to tie it up in the final minute and force overtime, which was when Atlanta won 30-27 on Morton Anderson's 38-yard attempt, won. Scott Norwood, Super Bowl XX Wiener field goal miss is easily the most grueling in NFL playoff history. Norwood's 47-yard attempt with 8 seconds remaining sailed wide right, securing a 20-19 win for the New York Giants over the Buffalo Bills in one of the greatest Super Bowls ever played. The defeat was the first of four consecutive Super Bowl losses for Buffalo. Follow USA Today Sports Jim Reineking on Twitter at Jim Reineking. If you love talking football, we have the perfect spot for you. Join our new Facebook group, The Ruling Off the Field, to engage in friendly debate and conversation with fellow football fans and our NFL insiders.